What's up, everyone? Got a cool thing from the team at Helium. They contacted me and said, hey, you want to check out this uh, GPS tracker? And I'm like, sure. And then they forwarded me over to the, the team at Inboxia, and they sent me one of these guys. So let's do an unboxing. So let's first go over the packaging. Got for it does uh, GPS tracking for lots of things wherever you want to put this, and it does work with the Helium network. So that's the big thing. Is this this point right there does a lot of alerting, and we'll get into that in the rest of this video. But stay tuned and keep watching for all the details, and we'll talk about that. What is this IFTTT as well? So cool stuff there. Um, just a little bit more information. I don't want to show the serial number just in case there was a, uh, some personal information or something that could be doxed via that. But um, yeah, so serial number on the bottom. And then there's some information on the back where they might recommend things that you track. So um, of course you can get monitoring from anywhere and we'll go over more of these things throughout this video. And the big thing is Helium Network. So this will help you mine HNT as well. If you um, if it's picked up by any Helium hotspot, there's some HNT that comes across here. So let's get to the actual device. So this just slides out here. And then it opens like so and there you go in all of its glory it's a pretty small tracker only about four inches tall it just pulls out like that on the inside of the box you have a micro usb charging cable which we'll talk about how long charging lasts for that as well so information is coming in so here's your device very small very lightweight uh, this cable is kind of like a, I don't know, it feels really waxy. I think it's due to the um, IP33 rating. So I'm sure that that's where it's coming from there. Yeah, it's a handy cord and it's pretty strong. Uh, like I'm pulling on it pretty hard and it's not breaking or anything like that. So um, there is an LED on the bottom. So you can see that. And if I get it close enough to the microphone, it should chirp. There we go, that was it. So you can see that the little light lit up there too. So that's that's kind of it for the, the device, but now let's talk about what it does. So to that, let's go to my fancy presentation here. So yeah, this is the, the tracker and then the app, it's available both on Android and iOS. And like I talked about, it helps you mine HNT. So if you have a hotspot that you're going by and it happens to be yours, well, then you're kind of paying yourself for that data. Um, or if you have this most of the time at your house or say you have it at a cabin and you have a hotspot there, well, then as soon as it sends out data uh, via the Helium network, it's going to mine a little bit of Helium uh, tokens for you which is really, really cool. So let's keep going here. So this uh, unlimited range, we'll uh, talk about that. Um, you're still going to be uh, limited to the frequency at which it um, emits at. So, um, but you can think of it like you're roaming on helium. So uh, normally you're with the Bluetooth, you're going to uh, be tethered kind of to your phone for updating that. And there's uh, some battery savings that you can uh, get when you're using the, the Bluetooth mode. Um, of course, if you're roaming on helium, then that's a different, a different story, but um, that just changes how uh, often you need to charge it. And that's it. Um, you can get the history of all the things, um, all the places that you visited, if you're just using it for tracking things, or if you're um, tracking an object, well then uh, obviously you want to make sure that it's stationary as much as possible. Um, yeah, and the um, position, you can change, like, change how often it updates as far as that position, uh, like cadence. So if you want it to update, like, 
every few minutes, you can configure it to do that. If you want it to do only when it's moved, you can do that. Awesome, awesome customization here. And it's really all about uh, extending battery life. Um, so you can create these safe zones where you want it to, like if it moves over those boundaries, then you do want alerts for either entering or exiting. And, um, and then due to the, all the, that configuration stuff, you can uh, save your battery life. And so it seems like it's four weeks up to six months. So that's really, really cool. Like I said, this is pretty light and, and uh, small, so it can really fit anywhere. Um, it doesn't have to be just in a glove box or something like that. You can actually get it you know, embedded somewhere where it's really not visible um, to anybody who is, who is looking for it. You know, say and there are plenty of places in your car to uh, hide this, either behind some upholstery or in between seats or something like that. There's a lot of different places that you could shove this and still get uh, inform, inform, like you know, updates and, and um, all that kind of stuff for it. Uh, the emergency button, I believe that that was the button that I pressed earlier, or it's the reset button. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd like to figure that out. I couldn't find any more details than that. So um, more than likely, if you find out that information or I find it out later, I'll put it down in the comments below. And then it's compatible with IFTTT. So I did not know what this was, and I still don't know an, a lot about it, but it's it seems like it's a protocol that uh, the coolest thing I, I thought in here was this middle point here, and that can control your lights, your music, your thermostats when your tracker enters or leaves your home. I thought that was super cool uh, for automation. And there's a lot of um, savings that can be done, you know, to energy, to you know, costs. And a lot of times that, that it will do that just with your phone. A lot of phones will link up with your thermostat. Um, but this is another way to, to experiment with that protocol. Um, so yeah, very, very neat stuff. Um, you can also programmatically log your, your tracker location, like to a spreadsheet or by sending to some other things. Obviously there are the alerts to your phone, but then you can, um, program it up to email or text messages as well. So we talked about that it's um, right now that this is limited to the, the US because uh, basically, I, well, I don't know for sure, but I'm willing to bet that the frequency that this is operating on is the same frequency of US mi uh, helium miners. So that would have to match. So I'm guessing that you're gonna have to have different versions of this. Um, I don't know if the Bluetooth would work worldwide. Um, if you were just only on that. But of course, I think the helium part of it would only work in the US. So something to take note of. Now, there's some cool other stuff that's available in the app. Uh, I wanted to show this thing off first uh, was the proximity radar. So you, if you've lost something or you, you, you get within 65 feet of it, but you don't know exactly where it is, well, then you'd be able to... Uh, basically activate this proximity radar and kind of play the old game of hot and cold until you get really close to it. And then of course, once you get close enough, then you can probably do this, uh, this ringing. So it will actually make some noise. So I'm going to get that close up to the microphone here and then give you an example of that. It's actually kind of a jingle. So then you uh, press stop and it will stop ringing, but it's kind of a fun jingle. You can dance while you look for the thing. So um, or it might frustrate you if you can't find it, but um, really, really neat uh, little feature. Uh, let's go to the next screen. So I actually have been using this for probably three or four weeks now and, and been doing a lot of traveling, vacationing, that kind of stuff. And I decided to bring it um, back and forth. So if you saw, uh, Emirates video. I went down to Atlanta and visited their office just to get to know them a little bit better and hang out and stuff. And it was a great time. And so of course that that's logged on there. And then, um, also went on a vacation to North Carolina to go to a concert. And also we ended up visiting some family, uh, who live in Tennessee. So I drove out there and um, we decided to take the North Carolina route uh, on the way there. And then on the way back, went through Virginia, which was a lot of fun. Um, we like to see different, different sceneries and different states. And uh, I definitely would advise the more northern route if you're traveling that because it was just a lot more, um, I don't know, I really liked it.
Uh, so, and of course, then in in my hometown of Minneapolis, um, actually saw that it was picking up some locations out on the runway. So, of course, I wasn't my my phone was in airplane mode. So I'm wondering if this was actually somehow using the helium network to to propagate that signal across and get the locations uh, updated. So I thought that was really neat um, to see that. Uh, if you follow um, Calchip Connect's uh, Twitter account, they just tweeted a, a picture of uh, their um, president and CEO carrying one of these as well. And his, his journey was a lot more cooler than mine. He literally went like Miami, to I think they're 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 headquartered in Pennsylvania and then out to like Oregon or Seattle or something like that and then down somewhere else it was all over the place so not it wasn't mine was not as cool but uh, still a really neat application to um, to get to document that oh I went to these places and these are the routes that I took so good good times now here's the just some various screenshots that I thought were interesting. Uh, of course, this first uh, one is the setting setting screen, um, and the update rate, which is the middle one, is just basically to configure. Hey, this is how if you choose to have uh, you know every like the standard, you know every ten to fourteen minutes, it will beacon out. Well, then you you would have the longer battery life there. Um, yeah, and then location on demand is of course it's. Uh, all the time so or as as you as you would like it the zone alerts um so they have these safe zones which is kind of like this geofence and then you would get in uh information or alerts of when it goes into or out of that that area so uh, and i think the important places as well is either to like kind of instead of just giving you a uh, latitude and longitude coordinate it would actually just name the place as home or cabin or lake or whatever um so interesting location uh, details there um, and different usages. So let's actually get to those usages that, that I thought of in, in here. And these are somewhere on the website and uh, the Invoxia's website. And then others were ones that I just thought, oh, that'd be cool. So there's the obvious, hey, I want to put this in my child's backpack and at least always know where their backpack is um, because they tend to lose it so much. <laughs> um, but hopefully also if they're you know going to and from school that you're, you're you're tracking where that where they are as well, so that would be good information to know. Um, with luggage, there's the obvious use case of where is my luggage, of course, uh, which is good to know. But uh, I came across this interesting idea, and, and maybe this will go back to Inboxia as an idea for, that they can implement. Is this idea of like mobile tethering, or like you tether it to your phone, and so if your phone uh, deviates or gets beyond uh, a distance from the thing that you're tracking, then that would create the alert. Uh, uh, so say you're traveling to Florida and all of a sudden your luggage starts heading to Denver and all of a sudden you're, you're separated by more than a mile. Well, you could have an alert. And while there's nothing you can do about it right then, at least when you get back to your gate, then you can contact, uh, you know, customer service or a flight attendant and tell them, look, my luggage didn't come with us and it's actually in Denver now. And then they'd be able to track it down a lot faster. So it's an interesting application there of you at least getting an alert as soon as you know when you and your luggage have unfortunately departed. And of course, they talked about on their website that uh, the motorcycles are a great application. Uh, this thing is very, very small, so you can put it in, in with your motorcycle. Um, and, and potentially have it in an inconspic inconspicuous spot. Uh, another application is uh, on an ATV. And if you know, you might be using it while you're hunting. And if you forget where you put your stand, uh, if you're doing some deer hunting or something, you can know where your stand is and walk directly to that spot. Or say you have a, a really nice place out in the wild that you like to, to have um, you know, to camp at or to have a really nice view at, then you can put the tracker there and then come back and get it later, of course. And then with the, uh, if you're using a safe, you could put it inside your safe and then get an alert whenever that safe starts moving. Or if it gets outside your geofence, then get an immediate alert. So if you have a safe at home that um, you want to make sure that you 
uh, make sure that it stays there all the time, then you could get alerts on that if it ever were to leave your premises, uh, which would be very, very important. Now, um, the last idea I, I had, which is kind of no stranger to what they've been talking about um, with uh, the Helium Network, is that they've thought about some Pokemon Go ideas. So this is a bunch of those things wrapped up into one. So if you remember back to me traveling around, um, this is digital proof that at least this tracker, but a whole, uh, me as well, have been in these states, which is a lot of fun. So you could have a badge system of when you when you travel around and actually prove that you were in these these spots. Uh, I always forget which all, all the states that I've been in my life. And so uh, this would be a helpful way to remind myself of, of those travels. And of course, then there's the application of uh, a lot. A lot of times they take pictures of these by signs and the, by those signs are rest stops. So another uh, awesome revenue uh, stream uh, is for the states that are operating these rest areas is to put a helium hotspot at those rest stops and then have coverage. And then you'd get very, you get a lot of traffic at these places by having all these devices passing the rest stop. And so it could pay for, you know, uh, uh, obviously the Wi-Fi that, that it, it uses, but then also, uh, you know, maybe pay for playground equipment or enhancements or just maintenance fees or uh, some, you know, somebody's job to go around and visit those rest stops and keep them uh, up to date. So a lot of different applications for this. And then of course, once you get across that state boundary, there's an immediately a rest stop to welcome you to that state. And then of course you would get the long fi uh, proof that you were in that state as well, which would be a lot of fun. So a lot of different applications for this. I hope that this has inspired you with a couple of ideas on uh, on your own. Throw them in the comments. Uh, it'd be great to, to give these back to Inboxia and say, hey, do something with this. This is a really great idea. Or even just to share it with some friends, uh, especially this part of the video, and say, hey, we could do that. That wouldn't be too hard. Uh, so talk about it. Talk amongst your friends, all that kind of stuff. So um, one other interesting thing that I talked or that I thought about was that with this um, this tracker, I don't know if you can pair up one of these external batteries to the power and actually extend the battery life. So I may do that as a long-term experiment and then just throw that in the comments later uh, to see if it would actually boost battery life. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, let, uh, where can you buy it? So it's $129 from Calchip. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below. I don't know if there's a referral boost for me or not. Uh, you can definitely uh, click on the link and see if it works. If not, go ahead and buy it on your own. And um, yeah, I'll post uh, tips and corrections in, in a pinned comment below if there, are, if there are any. Please, if you like these videos, remember to like it and subscribe it, share it with your friends. Uh, this will help also the, the Helium Network keep growing. So we want to look for these uh, amazing use applications and share them because this is uh, long-term the revenue stream from for Helium uh, and it hits that IoT stuff really uh, nicely. So that's it for today. Take care and carpe tempestus.